Hi Tubies, here's your Alexandra. On, and on several people's demand, I will start now with my next painting tutorial. And as you can see, this will be a Chaos Space Marine. What I did first, I simply uh, cut out the parts, cleaned the mold lines, glued it all together and made a very simple uh, slate base with two plates of cork I just glued on the base and then I glued the miniature on it. What I will do now is I will prime this miniature in Chaos Black. And I will see you when this stage is done. As you can see now the model is primed and now we start to apply our first uh, color coat. This will be Deadly Nightshade. This is an old and very dark blue color and if you don't have this color just take Regal Blue and mix a little bit of black into the color so that this is a little bit darker. And then simply start to apply this dark blue color everywhere where the model needs to be blue. Just simple as that. Paint in the color. <clears throat> and don't worry about the dark recesses. You can just leave them in black. But that's all about it and I will go now ahead and paint all the parts that need to be blue. So, I'll be right back. Now all the blue parts are painted and at this stage we take clear regal blue, water it down one to one and then uh, we start to apply the first highlight. Simply paint it on. As you can see I'm using only the tip of the brush and I'm creating with a watered down color a nice even color transition here. And now I will work uh, my way up all to the blue parts and we will see us when this is done. As you can see the first highlight is now applied and in all the recesses I've left a little bit of the deadly nightshade and now comes the second and final highlight. This will be a mixture of two to one from regal blue and enchanted blue and this mix is also watered down and then we simply apply that also and we will leave a little bit of the old color behind as before. And remember the color works always, looks always brighter when applied uh, than when it is dry. So the contrast won't be that great of an issue. <coughs> and we will now only hit uh, the real upper parts that are uh, hit directly from the light above. So simply as that. So. Just like that. Here between the legs we will leave the dark color because they are shadow. I will now go ahead and highlight the rest and we will see this when this is also done. Now that the armor is uh, already highlighted we will start to apply some lightnings on the armor for that I have pre-mixed uh, a 50-50 mixture of Ice Blue and Enchanted Blue and I've watered down this quite a bit and then we simply go on here and paint in very slightly with uh, much too thick lines as you may seem as it may seem uh, <coughs> the basic outline of um, a lightning <coughs> and let's say this leg is 
one, two. So, simple as that. And then this needs to dry. And while this is drying, we need a, a much thinner brush. And we will start to highlight these lightnings until they are actual lightnings. I'm back in a sec. What I have here now is a detail brush and I have mixed in some white into the color and now we'll start to paint real lightning. So, just like that. Same on the other side. Well, the color is too dry now on the brush. Take a little bit more. So, like that. Only with the tip of a brush, barely touching. So, and leave some small markings. Uh, the brush is dried again. <coughs> Some very fine lines. So like that. Now we mix even more white into the color. That is that the color is almost white. finalizing the lightning. Same on the other side. Barely touching, really barely touching. all it is to paint lightnings. Now I will start to paint the gold parts of this you will see in part two of this video. See you, you Alexandra. <laughs>